There won't be any danger. Leo? All we've got to do is earn our salaries, right? I'm your bodyguard. As long as you employ me, I won't let anyone lay a finger on you. Leo, how can you say something so... Thanks, Leo. I'm putting my trust in you. I still oppose this, but I understand your unwillingness to abandon Claudia. Leo, Wayne, and you, Cyrus, protect Rose no matter what happens. You got it. Leave it to us. Guess the, that's it then. Rose is gonna so is going so am I. Thanks, Wayne, Cyrus. Go on, Rose. Let's go save your friend. Yeah. Rose headed towards the designated bar alone. A short distance behind her, a car filled with her bodyguards followed. This madam of ours is so innocent, it's scary. No argument there. She's got enough guts for a man. Leo, you're practically responsible for making Rose go. If something happens to her, I'll kill you. So, could you have told her to abandon her friend? Ha ha ha, no fighting, kids. We're almost there. So that's the drunkard's pub. Anything at all happens to her. Oh, oh. Oh. Shut up, Wayne. Rose stood in front of the bar and glanced back towards us for a second. Then she readied herself and went inside. If we get too close, they'll spot us. I'd rather not get any closer than this. On the other hand, if we're too far away, we won't be able to help her if things get rough. We can take the back side of the building. Leo. Good point. Mice and bad guys are always scurrying around behind bars. Wayne and I will keep a lookout on the front. No thanks. I'll pretend to be a patron and go inside. No use jumping in if I, uh, in there after something's already happened to Rose. Hey, hold up there. Wayne got out of the car alone. Cyrus shrugged. Oh, to be young. Don't want to let the guy die. He's too cute. You don't say. Dude's gonna get his fucking ass killed. What a fucking idiot. I mean, come on, dude. A close sign had been placed on the do door of the bar. However, the door was unlocked. Rose steadied herself, then slowly pushed at the door open. Inside, the bar was dimly lit, and unsurprisingly, there were no patrons to be seen. I'm Rosa Primavera. I've come here alone. As she spoke this to the empty bar, men slipped out from behind the shadows and behind the bar. Right on time. Where's Claudia? Please let her go. Do it. Wait, what are you... The man gagged and blindfolded Rose. Go figure, who would have guessed? They lifted her up and took her towards the back door. Then they threw her into the bed of the truck waiting there. Perfect, take her. The truck left forward, racing out uh, into the back alley. Oh, someone's in a hurry. The truck bra brushed by Leo's sleeve as he tried to enter the back alley, then turned an intersection disappeared. Okay, let's go. Acting the part of a customer, wandering by, Wayne approached the door to the bar. He could see the closed sign, but he couldn't let that stop him now. If he pretended to enter without seeing the gun, the sign, he might be able to get a look around. He opened the door and entered the desolate, dimly lit bar. The second he set foot inside the bar, the door was violently shut behind him. He quickly realized that he was surrounded by shady looking men. What a smart thing to do. Sorry, we're not open today. Sorry to bother you, then I'll come back later. Still, I was supposed to be my girlfriend here. I think she probably got here before me. Did anyone see her? <laughs> ah, ah, ah. What's so funny? You really think we didn't plan on her bodyguards following her? The men all took out their guns at once, pointing them at Wayne from all directions. Nice work, kid. Now you've gotten yourself another hostage. Yeah. Good job. There was one more car parked behind bar the bar. They opened the trunk and tossed Wayne in, his hands cuffed. Then the men got into the car and drove away. Leo had watched this whole scene, memorized the license plate number, and kicked down the back of the back door to the bar. Hey, they got us. Got us good. When Cyrus saw Leo come flying out of the bar in front of the door the bar's front door, he immediately realized this was an emergency. 
His car lurched forward and stopped in front of the bar. Leo jumped in. It's that black car. And they threw Wayne in the trunk. And Rose? The bar was empty. When I circled around the bar, a truck drove away in a hurry. They probably put her in that. Looks like it was a trap from the beginning, all right. I'm sure these guys will, the guys will show us the way. If Wayne hadn't gone into the bar, we might be able to, we left empty-handed by now. A reckless youth will pave the way to the future. <laughs> Better buy the kids some candy once this is all over. Poor Wayne. This is bullying. But it's fine, because my god. Like, dude, really? Even though we really should have, like, already been behind the bar, already, in the back alley. Ouch, please let me go. Let go of me. Where's Alfred? Where's Claudia? The boss will come by later. We'll ta take you to the hostage girl now. At the top of the dirty back staircase to the building, there was a room which looked like storehouse, like a storehouse with cans of paint strewn about it. The strong odor of paint thinner made Rose grimace reflexively. Rose, Rose! Claudia, are you okay? They didn't do anything to you, did they? Okay, I'm sorry, but her nightly rate's gotta be like a couple dollars. I'm fine, but because of me, you're, you... You two stay put like good little girls, got it? Now that you have me, there's no reason for Claudia to be here. Please let her go. It's up to the boss. You'll have to ask him. Where is Alfred? The boss values his lunch time. He'll probably be here soon. Until then, sit over there or something with your friend. Tying up girls isn't one of our hobbies, but if you insist. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. If I hadn't been captured, you never would never have had to... It's okay. Huh? Those dependable friends of ours will definitely come to save us. The men started playing cards on the table near the entrance. There was no way out of this room except the main entrance. The window was open, but had no bars. but had bars across it. They probably knew that it would be impossible for anyone to leave this room, so long as they stayed near the main entrance. The men ignored Rose and Claudia and began to get engrossed in their game. I was kidnapped as soon as I entered the bar. My bodyguards were a good distance away to avoid being noticed, so it's possible that they didn't see the truck I was in. In other words, it's likely that they won't be able to find the place where we've been captured. Will they really come to save us? That's right. We'll definitely rescue you. Claudia, so don't worry. I wonder where this is. Will I be able to tell if I can look out the window? After making sure that they were fully focused on their card game, I stood up and walked towards the barred windows. This is a marketplace. Below me, I could see wide streets lined with carts and tents. It was also filled with people going this way and that way. I wonder if I can, I can call any of them for help. No. If I yell loud enough for them to hear me down in that hustle and bustle, the men here will get to, get to me long before anyone else does. Of course, the bars were firm, and I couldn't even make them budge with my thin arms. Fortunately, I wasn't tied up. The door to this room was isn't even locked. I wonder if I can do something while they're concentrated on their game. I'm sure they'll, come, they'll all come to save us. So I've got to think of something I can do now. Like the crowd they're leading us into. Well, there is a marketplace around here. So they went in there. That building. Looks like it. Might as well get off here. After watching the car with Wayne and the trunk go behind the building, Cyrus stopped his car on the side of the road. We got. We go all out now. The bastards got three hostages after all. Still, we're lucky this the right, is right next to such a crowded marketplace. They won't be able to start firing away. Yep, still doesn't hurt to be careful. The two of them looked up and down the building that the car carrying Wayne had approached. The men had parked the car behind the building, and in fact, they were carrying Wayne out of the trunk at this very moment. 
The sun's still too high. Should we hold back and watch a bit longer? If we're gonna do something, I'd recommend doing it right now. Why do you say that? There are two cars parked there. If Alfred was there, there should be a lot more of his lackeys hanging around. Now is our chance. When Alfred gets here, we'll probably have several more foes to worry about. I see. You got brains, kid. Looks like we'll have to go, then. Let's take a look around back first. I'll let you handle that part this time. What about you? Me? Might just go ring the doorbell. What a fucking meme. Get your hands off me. Damn it, where's Rose? That's none of your business. Enough squirming around. Blech. Wayne was brought into a room filled with large machines and pipes. His hands were cuffed behind a, around a pipe around a, behind him. The boss said we should chop off a hostage finger if Rose shows any signs of defiance. But don't worry, we're gentlemen. We didn't want to do anything to that woman we took our, earlier. We don't know how re relieved we are to have us a man hostage. Ah, ah, ah. Ugh. Wayne spat at one of the men, doubled over with laughter. The smile instantly vanished from the man's face. You'll regret taking a shot at Primavera. Well, at least you got some guts, boy. Guess you don't mind dying if you get to give your finger as a gift. If we kill you first, you won't have to cry as much when your finger comes off, don't you, thi don't you think? When the snarling man gets so close that his nose was almost touching Wayne's face, Wayne headbutted him. Hey, are you okay? <laughs> Little brat. Don't underestimate me. The great Wayne died long ago. He only lives now because Rose brought him back. I don't have a life for you second-rate goons to threaten. This one hell of a brat. Hey, hold that, hold that kid down. The man who had received the headbutt picked up a lead pipe, wiping the blood from his nose. Get your filthy hands off me. Get off! Hold him down, I'll break this little bastard's front teeth. Get off, now! Wayne's legs and knees sank into the men's stomachs and flanks over out, one after another. The determination of this man who fought even while bound up annihilated their smugness. Gurg. You little brat! Don't touch me! Don't touch me with your filthy hands! This kid's crazy, who does he think he is? The enraged man whipped out his gun, then he pressed the cold, heavy barrel up against Wayne's forehead. The icy touch of steel made a line of sweat drip down Wayne's forehead as well. Now say you're sorry for being a stuck-up brat. Say it now. Like hell I will. Are you really so desperate to die, boy? If you kill me, you'll have one less hostage. That's just one thing, one le one thing less for Rose to worry about. Pull that trigger for Rose. I'd give up this life of mine in a heartbeat. A man shouldn't give up his life so easily. Who are you? Give a girl a rose and she'll be much happier. Fighting. Defense. Yo, give me a gun so, like, all of these attacks do, like, way more damage. Because it's just shooting. <laughs> This lead pipe doesn't look nice, though. KOs! What took you so long, Gramps? Get these handcuffs off me. Sorry, kid. Just thanks to you, we found this place. They found a key in the pockets of the unconscious men and used it to unlock Wayne's handcuffs. Where's Rose? Guess that means she's up top. Shouldn't be any more than four of them up there, going by the number of cars. Let's get this over with before that fake foreigner comes back. Rose! Rose! Hey, hold up there, Wayne. Damn that kid. He goes all out, doesn't he? That's how a boy should be. Wayne dashed outside and scrambled up the outside the staircase behind the building. The vibration and sound of someone rushing up the stairs reached as far as Rose and Claudia. This abnormal approaching sound made the underlings freeze right in the middle of their card game. They come to save us. We're gonna be okay! Thank goodness. Ah. 
Oh, Miss Rose, I'm afraid I've kept you waiting a very, very long time. Boss, you're back early. What the fuck? Fucking switch around. I simply could not entertain my exci contain my excitement. I just had to dash up the stairs to see you. Possible. <laughs> Rose, we're in a completely different building. Hey, what's with this guy doing up here? Where's Rose, bastards? <laughs> she ain't here. She's probably having a nice chat with the boss now. What? Anyway, looks like you. You're gonna have to die right here, right? When you're too damn fast. You're too damn slow, Gramps. Better start getting more, some more exercise. Where's Rose? Not here, she's somewhere else. Hey guys, would you mind telling us where she is? Just tell us and we'll be off. You crazy? You're gonna die here. I can't die. It's a fate of us attractive guys. Okay. Leo too cool for these losers. Wayne card. I don't know what the Wayne card does, but it does something. No Wayne card for you. Get out of here. Damn it, I, I should have done Cyrus. He would have been way more stronger. Or just way stronger. Oh, cool, three arrows. I don't know what any of that means. Spit it out, where did they take Rose? Looks uh, like we'd know. If these guys don't spill the beans, we're stuck, damn it. You want us to beat you up again? Confess. By now the girls are on bed somewhere. Somewheres. Hell, that boss of ours is probably making them squeal. Get the fuck out of here. Bastard! Let me have a turn. What do you think you're gonna do, punk? Leo grabbed the man by the back of his collar, uh, collar of his shirt and lifted him up into the air. Blech. Everyone's eyes went wide. The man's feet left the floor as though he was being lifted by a crane. Now that's interesting. What's with that absurd power? I used to be pretty proud of my strength. Not so much these days, though. The hell? Leo, uh, the man that Leo had lifted up was smashed through into the glass of the window and then threw it. His body was now hanging in midair outside the window. Oh my god! This is the third floor. The ground below was concrete. This is gonna hurt like a bitch. So I think you could give me an answer before my arse starts getting tired. Where's Madame Rose? Stop! Wait! Uh. Oh, that's a pretty cheap shirt you got there. What's that supposed to mean? The fabric's all worn out. I'd recommend getting a better shirt next time. Stop. Help me. I don't know. I really don't know. Oh, really? If you're lying, I might just hang you up here to dry. Yes, really. The boss is very wary. He wouldn't go out of his way to tell us. Believe me. <laughs> ah. Just before the man's collar tore, Leo threw him back into the room. What should we do? Where's Rose? We're stuck, aren't we? For now, at least. Rose! You shouldn't have any more need to, for this child. Please let her go. No, 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 I mustn't do that. I need you to give me a splendid answer, yes? Or else something very unfortunate will happen to him. <laughs> what is it you want? Please tell me. Oh. But we've spoken of it so many times. Every month you will pay us protection money taken from all of Club Primavera sales. I believe I've refused this offer. Several times. In that case... That little miss in traditional Japanese garb there might find herself in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Rose, I'm scared. I'm so scared. Come over here now. Please stop. Don't do bad things to Claudia. Oh, oh. Looks like your friend is in a pinch. What will you do, Miss Rose? I understand. If you promise to leave us alone from here on out... Really? You swear to do so? Do as I say? Yes. So please just leave us alone. Rose hung her head and bit her lower lip as she spoke. I can't bear to split the money. 
with uh, which everyone works so hard to make with these ruffians. But I can't refuse any longer. If I hold out any further, I might just be Claudia. They might assault the other girls too. Might not just be. We need just to kill him. Since the time the time our mini bodyguards started leaving us, Primavera's fate was sealed. I shall put my faith in those beautiful tears of yours. Guys? Yeah, boss? Please take Miss Claudia and go downstairs, would you? Stop, let go of me! Claudia! No need to worry. After all, the two of us are finally alone. Why so scared? Aren't we friends now? Rose backed up against the barred window, pressured by the ominous, mini uh, ominous menace. Lose. Hmm? I told you to take off your clothes. As he loosened his necktie, Alfred's massive body swayed closer to her. I'm a gentleman, of course. I cannot bear to strip a woman by force. You are anyways. What? Just because you're not physically doing it, you're... What? So I'm asking you to undress yourself. No. I'm a gentleman, but my underlings down there with your friend might not be, yes? It's so cruel. Your friend's as lovely as you are. You see, I have no reason to be picky. Ugh. What say you, Miss Rose? Can someone please find him? In front of Primavera, Meryl and the others were sighing with troubled looks on their faces. I'm so worried. I hope Rose is still okay. That girl can be so ridiculously straightforward and rash sometimes. Excuse me. Ah, oh, come on in. Welcome to Club Primavera. Oh, great. So this is Primavera. Finally found it. Is there something you need? You sexy middle-aged man. God damn it. The man looked like a dirty laborer. Not the average clientele of Primavera. He timidly took out a dirty piece of paper. So, I, I'll i get a reward if I give this to you. <laughs> what can it be? This is... Without a doubt, this is Rose's handwriting. Give me the this man his reward. I see. She folded a letter into a paper airplane and sent it flying. Rose had thrown a paper airplane through the bars of the window when her guards weren't watching. Fucking genius! On it, she wrote the, that whoever took the paper airplane to Club Primavera would get a reward. It says she's being held in a building close to the marketplace. She's written about the scenery and the billboard she could see from the window. Someone get a map. Around here. And to see the billboards Rose was th talking about. That olive oil billboard really stands out. And then there's that hot dog one. That's probably here. And if we're looking for an angle that you that can see all of these... This is the only spot. We can pin it down pretty close. Are you certain? Don't doubt our local knowledge. So, are we gonna go? Let's race against time. At that moment, the phone rang. Richard picked it up immediately. To me, Cyrus. That Richard? Perfect timing. Your cursed luck never ceases to amaze me. Sounds like we you've made some progress. After losing all their lead, Cyrus' group made a call to Primavera for more info. We have an idea of where Rose is being held. It's near the marketplace. We must be practically on top of her. As usual, I wish you, I had your luck. Yeah, sure. Got it. Won't take long to get there. Do we know where Rose is? Yep, that's close. Just across that street. They're holding Rose hostage. We better be careful this time. No fucking shit. Aren't you the guy who ran up a staircase as fast as he could? Anyway, let's go. Hey, Leo, what are you doing? Just a few more questions to ask these guys. Leo grabbed Alfred's lackey by the collar and winked. We have no time for that. Looks like you aren't going to take them off. <laughs> Such a shame. Looks like I'll have to be satisfied with the girl down below. Please wait. Yes. I, uh, I'll take them off. Sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Can you say that a bit louder? I'll take my clothes off, okay? After all, I'm fully aware of my job as a woman of that night. Of that night or the, of the night? Okay. I always thought I would expose my skin to a man someday. Wait, you haven't? What? How can you run this place and not have sex with anyone? But not like this. 
Slowly Rose's fingers moved to her clothes. God damn it! <laughs> Poor Alfred. Cock blocked again. Oh, what a terrible kill, Joy. I find myself quite irritated. Just when things were starting to get interesting, what could you possibly want? Excuse me. Can I get a pizza? What? Large size margarita pizza. If you don't mind. Oh, and some beer. This isn't a pizza shop. You have the wrong number. I'll pick it up at this door. Be there in a second. Silence. Who are you? No need to be stingy. How about round on me? You. I'll be there in a sec, and I expect you to find a steaming hot pizza waiting for me. Are you insane? What if something happens to Rose? This way, he won't have time to lay a finger on her, right? <laughs> You're either one hell of a genius or one hell of a fool. Let's go, you two. Time to earn our pay. It's been too long since I've had a good fight. <laughs> now it's starting to get interesting. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Loser. These idiots are coming straight up to the front door. Hey, we got reservations. Think I could add a take-a-home salad to my order? They really came. Everyone, come out. They came for just three people? Just what do you got these guys have for brains? Damn it, why do you have to call them on the phone? Because it's fun this way. I'm having fun. This is exciting. I understand Leo's thinking. There's no point in just sneaking out with the hostages. Same thing will happen, just uh, just happen again. Let's see, he's one hell of a bastard. We'll come in openly from the front and kick all their asses. Unless we make a show of it, they'll never get off our backs. Isn't that right, Leo? Oh, no, nothing like that. Just thought it'd save us the trouble of ringing the doorbell. Leo turned back at them again. His face held no trace of fear towards the gang of ruffians surrounding him. These guys are the last remaining bodyguards of Primavera. Now's the time to take them all out and get that store to ourselves. It's not a store. Now that's a bit harsh. I haven't even gotten my first paycheck. Kill them all! Kill them all! Ah, uh, this is fun. I'm having... This is... This is fun. Having a good time. Feels good. Feels satisfying, too. Easy peasy. No number of old men is a match for me. I'll crush you to bits so you'll never try and have a go again. This kid's insane. How can he be so the, be the straw? This is, that's right, I remember. Wade, Mad Dog Wade? That guy's supposed to supposedly become the king of the brats in the black market area. Seen that man before too. Demon Surgeon Cyrus. The man who survived alone in the jungles to the south, creating legend after legend along the way? Yeah, don't look at them staggering around like that. I mean look how fucking big he is. I don't care who his name is, look how big he is. Damn Yanks had more balls than you. I can understand those two. Looks like they're both men with a rap. But what did this other guy? He's even crazier than they are. How can a man like this exist without rumors popping up? Where the hell did he come from? Sorry, gents. I just got back home. Oh no, two people attacking me at once. Whatever will I do? That is one ugly fucking mug right there, buddy. Hopefully then, uh, these guys won't fucking show up again. But I mean, I really fucking doubt it because, you know, Rose. Do it for Rose. Do it for Rose. She's a sweet girl. Wholesome. But I mean, like, there's no way this is gonna, like, deter him, even though, like, I wanted to do another Rose. But there's, like, just no way they're gonna be, like, deterred from this, even though they got fucking bodied. 
fucking dumpster. Easy. Star. Well, it's like just three arrows for like one match. Guess it is possible to do it when, when you try. And how have we done it? Yeah, we actually did it. Come on, our princess is waiting for us. Leo walked forward dashingly without any trace of weariness. So this is Leo. Just what is that guy? He just doesn't have a trace of fear in him. I've never seen such an insane bastard. He's probably a man who's lost his life once. Hex, that's supposed to mean. With all that happened in the war, there's plenty of men who have left their lives lying there on the battlefield. You slip past the verge of death, think some pretty painful thoughts. Sadness and despair can do it to you, to a man, too. Depends on the person. There's nothing that can scare people like that. So they're never afraid. They've already died, so they don't even think about dying now. So a monster back home from the war. As Leo approached the building, Alfred appeared at the top of the back staircase, holding Rose hostage. Hey there, my pizza's steaming and delicious? I think she is. Now this is really a surprise, to think that with just three people... Let go, Rose creep. Then we might go even extra nice and only take one of your molars. Seems I've lost for today. However, I will repay you for what has happened today. Of that, you can be quite sure. Please just leave us alone, Alfred. Oh, -ho. all of us are Japanese, right? Aren't we? Why should we have to fight each other? <laughs> oh, of all the Japan is good and dead now, Missy. Just what is being Japanese supposed to be worth in this mad post-war war, war world? That's exactly why we have to help each other as fellow countrymen. Listen to the girl. What are you even trying to say? I will pay you back someday. So long. Yeah. Alfred lifted Rose up and threw her from the landing at the top of the stairs. Rose barely managed to grab hold of the fence and hang on. <laughs> I'm giving back Miss Rose back to you. <laughs> Help me. The guards ran towards Rose. Alfred left from the building, landing uh, to the roof of a shed and then hopped down to the road. Rose! <laughs> Wayne dashed forward and just barely managed to catch Rose's hand. Right, where are you hurt? Are you okay? I'm fine. You have to save Claudia, too. Where'd that Alfred go? Looks like he's a pro running away. Leo shrugged and pointed to where Alfred stood, smirking up at them from the middle of the street. Until we meet again, goodbye! Oh my god. A car came pelting towards them, its wheels screeching and slammed into Alfred as he tried to run away. He flew 10 meters and landed headfirst in a pile of trash bags in the corner of the marketplace. Dude, they just fucking killed him! <laughs> then Marilyn and Stella came flying out of the car. Rose, we come to rescue you! Did I just hit someone? A <laughs> moan to goddammit drifted out from the pile of trash bags. Holy fuck. Leo and the other shrugged. That's what fate holds for the bad guys. What the hell? <laughs> what a way to end a chapter. Ah, uh, silly.